Let's answer some email questions. It you is ready? a great day. It is a great the day. The Lord is on the throne and he loves <laughs> us and yes. he's going to give us answers, we hope, to some of these tough questions. <laughs> okay, right. this first one is from Joe Pat, who says, I know of a Christian lady who has several medical conditions, but she's unwilling to go to the doctor to get treated. I want to help her. I'll pay for the doctor's visit, but she's ignoring my phone calls and her family members are acting like they don't care. What should I do? Uh, you know, the thing that is so hard for us to realize is that we can't live somebody else's life. You can't do it. You can't live your mother's life. You can't live your sister's life. You can't live your wife's life. You can influence your wife or husband more than anybody else, but you can't do it. Yeah. And this is a friend. You can give advice. You can offer money. You've done these things. If the lady wants to, you know, some people enjoy their sickness. I mean, they really do. I know it sounds cruel, but they enjoy being sick because that gives them the excuse not to do stuff. Well, I'd love to, to do that work, but I've got the rheumatism or whatever. I can't possibly. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't possibly. And I, and, you know, so in any event, you pray, give her to the Lord, and get on with your life. You, that's, that's all you can do. Mm -hmm. All right. This is Randall who says, My brother will witness to people with a pack of smokes in his back pocket. I try to tell him that he's not doing himself any favors. What do you think? I think you're absolutely right. I mean, you, you know, somebody's breathing cigarette smoke in my face and telling me, Well, you've got to know Jesus, brother. I mean, give me a break. I mean, <laughs> first of all, get delivered, then tell me about your Savior. All right. Okay, this is Brett. On your show, you said that if we pray with the words, if it is your will, it's a faith killer. For example, Lord, if it's your will, heal this person. However, in James 4.15, it says that we ought to use those words in our prayers. This is confusing. I want my prayers to be answered according to God's will, since he knows what's best for me. Can you please explain your stance more clearly? All right, look, what James was saying, the person says, I'm going to go to such a city, I'm going to buy and sell and make money, and I'm going to do it next year. And James says, you better say, if it's God's will, I, I'm going to do all those so things. So not making your plans independent of the Lord. Don't make your plans yeah. apart from God's will. Something else to say, in the name of Jesus, be healed, if it be thy will. That's the faith killer. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was referring to. Of course, you want to have your prayers answered. The other thing is, Lord, I surrender to you this situation. I surrender this sick person. I surrender my life. I ask your wisdom. I ask your guidance. At that point, it's a different matter. Then you learn. But what you need to do is pray and say, what is your will in the matter? And then having learned the will, then you speak it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You've even said that you've had situations where you have felt that God wasn't going to heal someone when you That's prayed. Right. I mean, and, you know, and God said to Jeremiah, don't pray for those people. Um, mm -hmm. No, if, if, Noah and Abraham. All right, one last question. Okay, well, they said we're out here. Oh, is that you it? You need to do your power minute for oh, us. Oh, I'm running out of time. More <laughs> quickies, two questions. All right, well, we leave it with today's power minute for Matthew 11. Jesus said, Come unto me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest in your souls. Well, that's all the time we've got. Thank you so much for being with us. Tomorrow, could good foods be bad for you? Hear how Americans are starving themselves into obesity. Dear me, we just teach you all kinds of things on this program, and you don't want to miss one minute of it. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>